likes dramatically changed my life, that's for sure. I had gone over my due date and there were no concerns. Max was doing fine in terms of all his checks and ultrasounds and so was I. It was a strange thing because I never had the sense that something was wrong. My husband and I stayed near the hospital and we were there all day. I was at the reception and he'd given the receptionist this piece of paper with some request and it was possible diagnosis and it said cerebral palsy next to it. I didn't even know really what it was, to tell you the truth. I had a dream of when Max was perhaps two or three that, you know, he'd start going to kindy and I'd start going back to what I love and my career and all of that. Well, th that point in time was like, that's not happening. It was as bad as he might not sit, he might not speak, he might not do anything. My positive hope was looking in his eyes and seeing the intelligence there. I contacted CPL pretty much straight away. I recognised we were going to work well together because they listened, they respected um, what the journey we'd had up until that time. Having that one place with all the services, it's nice. Everyone has been fantastic to do. I couldn't ask for anything more. I got my MR practicing with one of the best moments. Um, I just felt free and <laughs> and it <was> more independent <laughs> and more on my own. That's my dream, that he lives his life as he wants to live it under his terms and we'll just support that, however that comes to be, even getting on the road train. This is a passion that he's had since being very little. As long as what you're doing, you're doing it with love. The love of a mother. That you just want the best for your child. And it's not your son with a disability, it's your son. Right? It's your son who's a whole person and who has strengths and talents and passions and desires you know, for life. And your role is to support that.